You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the Queen of the United Kingdom and Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II on the demise of her husband, the Duke of Edinburgh, His Royal Highness Prince Philip. His Majesty the King extended deepest condolences and consolation to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II as well as to the British government and people, wishing mercy for the deceased and patience for the British royal family. His Majesty King Hamid lauded the efforts of the late His Royal Highness Prince Philip to serve the United Kingdom and its friendly people. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the Prince of Wales, Prince Charles, on His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh, Prince Philip's demise. His Majesty the King expressed deepest condolences to Prince Charles, the British government and people, praying to the Almighty to bless the deceased with mercy and the British royal family with patience and consolation. His Majesty the King paid homage to His Royal Highness Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, recalling his good qualities and lifetime contribution to serving the United Kingdom and its people. The Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II following the demise of her husband, Duke of Edinburgh, His Royal Highness Prince Philip. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince offered his deepest condolences to Her Majesty, the Queen and the British people, underlining the depth of the partnership between Bahrain and the UK. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince commended the late Duke's lifetime of service to the United Kingdom and its people, first as a naval officer during the Second World War and later as consort to Her Majesty, the Queen. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the Prince of Wales, His Royal Highness Prince Charles, following the passing of His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh, Prince Philip. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister offered his deepest condolences to His Royal Highness Prince Charles, the British government and people. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister paid homage to the late Duke of Edinburgh, recalling his many contributions to serving the United Kingdom and its people. In the presence of the chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club's High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Environment and Deputy Chairman of the Club's High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, the club held the final race of the 2020-2021 season at its race course in Rafah Sakhir. The race consisted of eight rounds and was held on the cup of the Honorary President of the Rashid Equestrian Club and Horse Racing, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, and the cups of His Highness's sons, His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, and the Cup of Zaid bin Dib Al Kubara Group for Industry and Trade, the Owners Cup, and the Rauda Stable Cup. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Cup of the Zaid bin Dib Al Kubara Group from the Group's President Zaid bin Dib, while His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa presented the Cup of His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa to His Highness Sheikh Sultan al Din bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa. He also presented his Highness's Cup to His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa. Then His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa presented the Cup of His Highness to the owner of the Ibrahim Al Afu and also presented the Cup of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa to His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa. While the Executive Director of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, Sheikh Salman bin Rashid bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, presented the Owner's Cup to the winner Hisham Al Haddad and also presented the Rauda Cup to the winner Yusuf Al Bu'aini.
The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, has praised the crucial role played by the World Bank Group in facing the repercussions of the novel coronavirus pandemic, COVID-19, hailing the bank's swift response to the measures and precautionary measures taken by countries to confront the virus and mitigate its effects on the global economy. The minister made the statements while addressing the World Bank's Development Committee on behalf of the Arab Group and the Maldives as part of his participation in the Development Committee meeting held remotely today on the sidelines of the annual meetings of the World Bank Group, the WBG, and the International monetary fund the IMF. The minister pointed out that the current situation requires developing an action plan that would meet the priorities of low-income countries and those of fragile and conflict-affected regions that have witnessed major economic repercussions caused by the pandemic by urging these countries and regions to increase public spending in order to stimulate their economic activities. Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa said that the Arab group welcomes the call of the World Bank Group, the International Monetary Fund and the G20, chaired by Saudi Arabia to extend the debt relief period for low- and middle-income countries. The minister indicated that the coronavirus pandemic has exacerbated food security challenges at the global level, with the effects expected to continue beyond 2021, calling for an integrated approach to improve food security and provide food supplies to the neediest groups. The Development Committee called on the World Bank to support countries in purchasing vaccines and ensure that developing countries have quick and easy access to the vaccines. The Moon Siding Committee will meet tomorrow evening at the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, the SCIA headquarters, to receive news and testimonies from Bahrain and the Islamic world about the birth of the Ramadan Crescent, signaling the advent of the month of fasting. In a statement issued earlier, the Council urged the public to report their testimonies to, Moon, to the Moon Siding Panel. The Arab Parliament Speaker Adil bin Abdurrahman al-Assumi expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa for His Majesty's continuous support to develop the Arab human rights system. Al-Assumi was speaking during the opening of the fourth session of the first session of the third legislative chapter of the Arab Parliament, which was held at the Arab League headquarters. He lauded His Majesty's initiative to establish the Arab Court of Human Rights as a pioneering and distinguished initiative, calling on all Arab countries to quickly join this court and start its work as soon as possible. He also affirmed that there are no mechanisms to support human rights in the region, including the Arab Charter for Human Rights and the launch of the Arab Parliament of, for the Arab Observatory for Human Rights. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 557,298 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 361,924 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 10,988 with 830 recoveries and 1,206 registered new cases. 383 of the new registered cases were expatriates, 768 were contacts of active cases and 55 were travel related. The Ministry announced the death of a 57-year-old female citizen from COVID-19 and expressed its heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased and urged everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the coronavirus.